Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some experience design goodness. And today's goodness is the vector handling capabilities of XD. I really like the fact that you're able to work with vectors in this application. It just makes things so much smoother. So I'm gonna uh, select a, an object here that's a circle. And you're gonna hold down the option and shift keys to draw out a perfect circle and you can see, there it is. And the really cool thing about working with the vectors is that you can give them fills. So I can give this a red fill. Uh, you can give them a border. I'm going to change the border color to black. And let me thicken it up. So we'll give it a five point radius. And I can even throw a shadow under there if I need to. Now I don't need the border, so I'm just going to take that off. Now the other great thing you can do with vectors, of course, is you can play with them. So if I select this uh, circle here and then double click it, you notice I can get at the points. So if I click on a point here and pull this down, and this is a technique that Adobe has been showing, you notice I can stretch it out. But if I double click the anchor point, you'll notice it changes from a rounded curve to just a straight corner. So you can do all sorts of cool things with that. And then if you really want to have some fun with it, find the center of your circle and holding down the option shift keys, I'm going to draw a little circle. And you can combine the shapes. They call them Boolean operations in uh, XD. And that's right up here. So if I want to poke a hole in this uh, marker here, I just do that. It's now one shape. And if you don't believe me, let me draw a circle or draw a square. Fill it with black. And let me just sh shoot that to the back. So we'll just go to... Arrange, send to back, and you can see it's a fully transparent circle. Now that's just the start of the cool stuff you can do with XD. Another thing that you can do is you can actually use vector images from Illustrator. Now they come in as SVG, and one of the great features of working with this app is you don't have to go through the SVG dance from Illustrator to XD. So if I uh, pop over to Illustrator, I've got this little guy open here. He's my uh, nutty professor. He's sort of like a mascot. I've had him for years. So what you do is you just select your Illustrator drawing, copy it to the clipboard, pop back to XD, and paste. And what happens is, is it comes in as an SVG image. So you don't have to go through the dance. Now the one thing that you can't do with this application is bring an AI document in, so just be aware of that one. Now another really cool feature of working with SVG is that if we come back to my Illustrator document, you'll notice that it's full of shapes. Well, I can come back to XD and say, look, this shape here, the hat, I want to select it. And you notice that I can introspect, and if I want to change the color, I can just say, give me that color. And there you go. Now, this is a great technique to use if you've got icons and things like that. You can have a full icon sheet sitting in Illustrator, and they can all be white, and you just bring them in and double-click them and change the color. So there's some of the vector stuff you can do with XD. I think it's uh, pretty neat stuff. It's pretty flexible, and it gives you all kinds of opportunity to be creative.